What's up you scallywags? Today I'm going to show you how to play Zomboid the proper way, the way God intended. I know you guys probably suck at this game, so I'm going to show you the most efficient way possible. As soon as you spawn in your starting house, just grab all the food to get you through the first day, loot the rest of the house. There's probably nothing. Ah, uh, that's not good. So, basically from here, you're just going to want to walk inside, get the remaining zombies off you, kill this motherfucker. He got lucky, so I'm not going to blame skill issue on that one. Basically, you want to take your pants off, start ripping them up, and oh shit, my health is really low, so we're just going to speed bandage this real quick. Everything happens for a reason, alright? So as long as we stay calm, we can get through this. I know it's very easy to freak out, especially when your health is getting this low, but trust me, as long as you stay calm, you're gonna get through it, and we're gonna survive this first day, okay? We're just gonna keep bandaging. Hopefully my guy can bandage a bit quicker because it's not really cutting it, and fuck, I'm dead. All right, so once you get out of your starter base, we're gonna, that's not good. We're okay, it's all gonna be fine. We're just gonna keep walking, push them back. All right, so tip number one, guys, don't blindly walk through the forest. It's a bad idea. And fuck, we're bitten, all right? No worries, guys, I have a plan for this. We're just gonna wanna keep walking, find a safe spot. And from here, you probably think the run is over, but trust me, it's not. I've been preparing for this. And you know, we learned from our mistakes, so this time I'm gonna bandage a lot quicker, and this time I can actually survive the bites. From here, you're gonna wanna find a safe spot that you can heal up in. And I learned from the Zomboid tutorial, there's actually a way to cure the zombie bite so all you got to do guys is press q and for some reason it's not curing why am i screaming oh no was i lied to guys again you guys are probably going to panic in this situation i'm just going to walk straight out the front door because i'm cool calm and collected basically you want to just train these zombies around the whole neighborhood and if you're nimble like me you can lose them pretty easily all right guys next order of business we're going to find another base to heal up in and this time we're not going to trust those scumbag devs over at the indie stone and press q again because they're pieces of shit anyways guys we're going to hop through the window and the alarm goes off of course all right so once the alarm goes off you don't want to panic because there's not going to be too many coming at once you just want to loot as quick as you possibly can and wow that's a lot more than i expected so we're just gonna walk this and there's more coming through the window so in this situation guys you just want to stay calm 100% of deaths in zomboid is purely because you panicked guys so we're just gonna um yeah we're dead Fuck. All right guys, if you're good at the game like me, you're gonna escape your starter base and you're gonna be able to find a key and get a car. And in this situation, the car is the best choice because it's the safest and it's gonna protect you from all the zombies. You're just gonna wanna start it a few times. Sometimes it doesn't start on the first try, but you wanna keep going. And for some reason, it's not starting still, but just stick with it, guys. Uh, fuck, I think we're out of gas, actually. So basically, if you're smart like me, you'll go in the back seat and you're just gonna escape the car and try to escape the zombies. And fuck, we're dead again, dude. I'm done with this shit. Alright guys, so another tip for this game is to make sure you put gas in your car. Uh, this way you can drive safely to Louisville. And as we're approaching Louisville, we can just run through these road barriers. They don't seem very strong. Am I dead? I'm actually dead, dude. I'm done. Alright guys, I'm not sure why they put single player in the game. Clearly it's not possible to survive on your own. So basically what I did is I went into multiplayer and joined a server. And hopefully I'm going to find a friend that I can survive with. Alright guys, we got someone walking down the street right now. It looks like he's looking at me menacingly for some reason. But we're going to try to riz him up anyway. Try to befriend him. See if we can get a teammate going. Yo, what's up bro? You're the first person I've seen on the server. Do you talk? I like your outfit. Yo. You want to be friends? You want to team up? Oh. What's up, you fucking idiot? You think I'd team up with you, you fucking little worm? Hey, chill, bro. I, I literally just started on this server. Do you want something? I can give you something. Nothing to fucking provide. You got no purpose on this fucking server. Now give me all your fucking clothes before I pop you. Okay, guys, in this situation, you're just going to want to comply with him. It's the only way you can possibly get away with your life. And I know it's a little embarrassing, guys, but this is kind of just how it has to be. And you're just going to want to put your ego aside, guys. I know it's tough, but it does build character. In the end, we're basically winning still. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of a harder start this time, guys. Um, so we're just gonna want to walk away and try to loot some houses. He's gonna be a big threat to us, guys, so we're not gonna want to go back that way. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hop this fence. Hopefully I can get some good loot on the other side. And, uh, yep, so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, have a great fucking day.